I don't like the music y'all playing. Y'all really insinuating some things I don't like. Welcome back, it's your boy Buddha Beast. Today we playing Fears to Fathom Iron Bark Lookout. Uh, I'm pretty. I think I pretty much played all day releases on my channel. These are games based off of, I guess, stories that are sent into them, and they create games around them. Mind you, some of these stories are probably not even real, if at all real, but they make great games. We back into it, so let's check it out. All right, Fears to Fathom Episode Four, baby. Iron Bark Lookout, May twelfth. Hey, I noticed you. You were requesting story submissions while I was watching a YouTuber play Fears to Fathom Carson House. What I'm about to recount happened when I was 24 or so at the time. It feels kind of weird telling anyone about this because of the bizarre and absurd nature of the whole thing. But I feel like doing so might help me process my memories of it. I knew that sharing the story anywhere else would be dumb. Be a dumb idea because people would say I was lying. So, as I'm writing this, this is the scariest experience of my life. I'm Jack Nelson. Had a small job as a park ranger in the state park. I was a fire lookout station in one of the largest forests in the Pacific Northwest. Miles and miles of dense forest managed by the Forestry Service. I had a salary that allowed me to make ends meet. But I couldn't afford to treat myself to res restaurants, nice clothes, etc. My biggest ac accomplishment so far was being able to buy an RV for myself with a lot of financial help from my dad. That RV was the only sense of home I had at the time. This one time I was transferred from one outpost to another because of some official circumstances. It was a minor inconvenience to me throat since I lived out of my RV and liked traveling. I said a few goodbyes and I was off to the new location. It was about a two hour drive. Wast. We back y'all. Ray LL. Much love. What's that say? I think it says Iron Bark maybe. Uh, yo. Oh, I'm not texting and driving, bro. Uh huh. Keep going in. Yeah. Uh huh. Talk to him. Okay, let me read my messages, bro. Did you pass Rosenberg yet? No, why? You'll probably see Billy at the gate to show me your ID. Okay, so he's talking to somebody named Mitch, somebody named Kayla. Um, and Kayla might be the shorty. No, no, it looks as a sister. I don't know. We're, we're, we'll get into it more. I don't want to text and drive. It's not good. I don't even want to text you when you're driving. I lived a very so solitary life. Oh, you got a nice little. Okay, nice. It helps helps ugh, it helps quiet my mind and keep the memories at bay. Y'all want me to read text messages, read text while driving. Uh. Uh-huh. I've always loved the great outdoors. This is fake ass Drake. Just being surrounded by nature gives me happiness. Gave me happiness. For once, I would love to read a f***ing sentence the right way. I felt like I was at home in the woods. I feel like every sentence I butcher. I remember there's dinner well, asking Rosenberg to have the best burgers in town. You have to try them. I could really use a good meal before the staffing starts. Thanks, Kay. Look, Kay. I need you to stop texting me. I'm driving an RV on a f***ing mountain road. I almost got hit by ATV just now. And you want to talk about whatever the f it was you talking about. Uh-huh. Listening to this bootleg Drake. I'm sorry, person who I'm kind of dissing. I'm just, I'm just cracking jokes, bro. Ooh. I saw a diner Kayla was talking about. Okay, so he's going to meet this Kayla girl here.
gotta park the RV, uh, gotta park the RV, uh. Oh, should have taken it easy. I'm trying to, bro. To get up. Yo, uh, this is nice, man. You're living humbly. But I can guess, it. I can already tell this is going to be scary. Scary living. It's going to be like something going on, something going to happen. Somebody going to be in my damn RV. I can already tell. You chomping on that burger, sir. How's that burger? This little piece of heaven, this place is pretty much my weekend spot. You new around here? Just passing through. I'm a new staffer at the Iron Bark State Park. I'm, I'm telling that. You must have heard the news then. What news? Well, a few weeks ago, three kids went missing in the park. It's been all over the news. What happened to them? No one knows. The official report says that they got lost, but a lot of people around here think something else happened. Something else. There's a rumor going around that a creature got them. A creature? Yeah, you know, like Bigfoot or Goatman. People say there's something like that living in the forest. Do you believe it? A lot of hikers and campers go missing in that forest. Some of them come back with stories you would not believe. Some of them never come back. And with that, we leaving. Like, that's all I would need to hear personally. You, you ain't got to tell me too much or nothing. I don't care how that good that burger tastes. Nigga, you just said niggas go missing. And I'm going to go where niggas go missing. What? Huh? Have, Have you ever been, been swallowed? Been swallowed? <laughs> Oh my god. We in the diner. Shorty, you is in place. You moonwalking. You better get to the cust. Am I on your way? Oh, my bad, my bad. Welcome to Twin River Diner. Diner. How you doing today? Good, how about you? Feel free to take any seat you like, and I'll be right with you. Alright, thank you. My bad. You was trying to talk to me. What's up, fellas? What's going on with it? Damn, nigga, the food ain't going nowhere. Relax. You're not even eating. Now this nigga over here talking about something. How's that taste, bro? Huh? You eating meatloaf? The fuck is that? You need to fire your barber, man. Just, just to let you... Wait. 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 Listen. Ma'am. This nigga has a shovel. Right next to him. He has a shovel. Why does he have a shovel in the diner? Why? Why are you in my face with this f***? Food. It looks good, but damn, back up. You just walking around carrying chicken nuggets and a sandwich. Who's it for? Look at her. She don't even who's it for? Let's just watch her. Let's just watch her. Who's it for? Who you giving it to? Who you giving it to? What are you doing? You just walking back and forth. Holding the, I'm holding the plate. I'm sit down. I'm sit down. Good evening. I'm Barbara. Are you ready to order? Yeah. So what can I get you for today? Cheeseburger with fries, meatball sub, chicken nuggets, grilled cheese sandwich with onion rings. Let me get that cheeseburger with the fries and a large Coke. Aha, uh -huh, our burger is the best in the West. Would you like anything to drink? Take that Coke. Perfect. Anything else? That'll be all. Thank you. Great. I'll bring the food out as soon as it's done. Just let me know if you need anything else. Sounds good. Appreciate it. Thank you. I've always had this habit of peeing before eating. I guess we pissing. Pissing and missing. Best if I don't go too much into detail about the story. You pissing on the floor, bro. Why we gotta watch this man piss? Why is this part of the game? Wash your hands. Wash them hands. You got pee pee hands. Pee pee germs. All right. I don't trust this man. I'll tell you that. Let's sit down. Okay, she remember passing this diner, so she suggested it to me. She's not here. Thanks. Mm-hmm. Look good. Appreciate it. Consuming. You gonna eat the fries at once? You don't. If you if you are a person that eats one thing at a time during your dinner, you're weird. You know, I take a bite of the burger, boom, grab some fries, boom, wash it down. Then, or I take the fries, eat the burger, then boom, wash it down. Some of that burger. Guess we eating the burger. Consuming. 
Have, have you, you ever, ever been, been swallowed, swallowed up? <laughs> oh, I'm eating. Hey, La, I'm eating. Are you texting me? Oh, I'm eating. I'm drinking the fuck out of that drink. So did you end up going? How was it? I'm here. Still eating. This is so good. Did you enjoy the food? Yeah, it was great. Would you like to have anything else or should I get the check? Hold on. Just a second. Okay, I'll be right back. I'll try to say just a second so I can read the text. Told you. Hee <laughs> hee. The food reminds me. You should send me the casserole recipe you were talking about. I might get a chance to immerse myself in the art of cuisine in the new lo lookout. Wow, yes. I'm on my way home. Send you in a bit. Pay and I'll give you a tip. Give you a 50% tip. Thanks for the generous tip. Yeah. It ain't my real money. This, this, this fake world money. I barely tip. I ain't gonna lie. That's why I just door dash it. Cause you want me to tip you. Even they want you to tip on door dash. God damn. They're already twice the fucking price whenever you order and they want you to give more money. Let's get up out of here. Thanks for the advice, bro, but I'm not about to follow your directions. I'm about to go to my doom. Did I leave this open? The, my bathroom door was strangely jammed. Because somebody's in there now. Right, we out here. Back on the road. Yeah, we back on the road, just left the diner, you feel me? And that burger was really good, yeah. And I got the fries from the back of the grill, yeah. You know I'm in it for the thrill, yeah. Now I'm driving to my new job, shut the fuck up, you fucking up my freestyle. 802. Okay, almost there I'm guessing. Yeah. Yeah. I'm on the way. I want to include the location of this park. But I don't want anyone seeking out the other horrors I've seen in these woods. Because people are stupid. They're like, oh, you want here? I want to go see. There's already another RV here. I'll just leave it right here. I'm not parking all nice. Let me get my bag. Might need that. I don't like the music I'm playing. Y'all really insinuating some things I don't like. Okay. Holy moly, you scared me. I thought you were one of them. One of who? May Lord have mercy. What? Anyways, can I see your permit, please? I'm not a camper. I'm the new transferred fire lookout. Is that correct? I didn't know we were hiring this season. Hang on, let me check on that. F scared the shit out of me, bro. Close this, close this door, bro. You're scaring me like that. Okay, pal, you're good to go. You're staffed at the Fire Tower 11. I apologize for the confusion. I was under the impression that the tower would be left unstaffed for the season. But here are your keys. Let me open the trail gate for you. Okay, so I don't even need to bring this bag. This nigga went through the door. Can I drive my truck or I gotta walk? 
Since you're arriving this late, you might as well also need a flashlight for the long hike to your lookout. Thought I might need one. Thank you, Billy. You be careful. Take this. Welcome to Iron Bark, pal. Now, for your purposes, when you get to your tower, be sure to make your first weather report from your system just so we know you're clocked in safely. If need be, you can reach out to Tower 12 during your staffing. Nice enough guy. It'll be your closest contact in case of any emergency. Thank you, Billy. What? Hey. Just a piece of advice. Don't travel any further than half a mile or so north of your tower. Why? Dangerous woods that way, pal. Bobcats and bears. Or monsters and demons. Nasty business. You got it. I thought he was trying to scare me, but he looked dead serious. I'm gonna try not to scream. <laughs> Yo, I really be trying not to. That shit is just regular. It was a long hike and it was starting to get cold now. You gotta hike all the way to your tower. This is not good. Tower, Gold Creek Trail. Okay, we're going to the tower. Go the other way. Living in a fire tower is not a glamorous job. Imagine being out here alone for a week at a time. It's not for everyone. Weeks at a time. Utility shack. Okay. But I've always had a fondness for the outdoors. I ascended the stairs to the top of the tower. We here. Look at that. Nice, nice. Alright, nice and cozy. Cabin was filled with the aroma of wood, giving me a sense of comfort. Is there a light in here? Forgot to turn the generator on first. Okay. Oh, okay. Got that shed over there. Not sure what's going on with that. But it's gonna come into play soon, I know that. Yep. I forgot how vicious these jump scares get on this game. Okay, now we can turn the light on. There it is. We in the crib. Iron Bark Fire Department. Put that right there. Yeah, put some music on. Some music. Let's call them. Static. Nothing. Radio equipment was sitting on a wooden table. Starting Rainbow 98. <laughs> it's my password. Check the Iron Bark Rules Flyer. Lights out to 12. Supply drops are handed out every Sunday. Absolutely no guests in the lookout. Iron Bark plus the tower number. I think it's Iron Bark 11. Refuel the generator routinely. Update reporting software routinely. No video games in the system. Remember to call your sister station before you sleep. All right, Iron Bark 11. I had it all caps. Hello there, it's Smiley, your trusty virtual assistant. Here to help you make the most of your computer today. Temperature. Welcome to the state of the art service reporting software developed by. Oh, we got voice acting. Why you had no voice before? Jack. I saw your light turn on. I gotta say, it's refreshing to see Tower 11 alive again. Who is this? I'm Connor. Fire Tower 12. You were watching? Isn't that the job? I've had to cover your area until you arrived. Okay. Well, why? What you called didn't mention you. Anyways, what brings you to this towering paradise of ours? Looking for a change? You're not saying nothing. I'm a transfer from Iron Horse. An experienced comrade. I can see why Mitch picked you. I'm really tired. You got a fire going? No. Get her lit. The temperature is about to plummet. You don't want to sit through the storm shivering. Got it, thanks. I don't see the smoke. Did you light it up yet? There was no firewood. The wood stove should be 
around the entrance. Get her lit. There's no firewood. No firewood? There must be plenty in the shack. That's all Marley did. Marley? The staffer who was in the lookout before you. Where is he now? She was... one gritty woman. Oh, she. Anyways, you better get that fire going. You don't want to sit through the storm. Gasoline must be in your cabin. But if not, you can always grab your supplies from the storage shack. Some firewood. The firewood. Fire... Firewood. What we got here? Bunch of firewood and stuff. Run faster, bro. I'm scared. I'm freaking scared, bro. Freaking scared. Freaking frick. Alright, what was that? Not that it'll matter much. I'm taking precautions like the game's not gonna scare the crap out of me. Oh, need gasoline. Hands were full. Alright, drop that. Ooh. There we go. Ah, I see it. I see the smoke. It's nice to see Tower 11 alive again. Did you report for the night yet? No, nigga. You keep talking to me. No, oh, let me get to it. Better get to it then. Here at Iron Bark, you are required to report every night before signing off. Duh. Duh. You don't want to disappoint Mitch on your first night. I don't care about you or Mitch, honestly. Keep it a buck. Alright, let's report. Welcome to Iron Bark State Park. If you're watching this video, then let me be the first to say congratulations. What you have been this? commissioned by the Ironbark Fire Department to protect one of the most prestigious parks in the state of Washington. Parks. Established in 1897, we've been is, uh, one of the safest the parks in America. We hope you can keep it that way for many years to come. This training video will ensure that you work to the best of your abilities. You have been selected as one of our Fire Lookout Observers. This is a truly rewarding job which requires many hours of hard work. Hard work. You will be working in our state-of-the-art lookout towers. And the following is a list of responsibilities you will have. Like? Keep watch for fire. Fire isn't going to be noticeable all of the time, so also keep watch for smoke. Make sure to know what color the smoke is. It may be crucial information. Fires are best stopped before they spread out of hand. Keep records of daily temperature. When the temperature rises, it is best that we have those recorded. The science nerds at the Panoramic Preservation Society require us to note all changes in temperature. We think it's best not to get into a lawsuit. Keep records of daily wind speed. Okay. Wind is a big factor when it comes to fire. Use the anemometer to scientifically gather the data. After collecting the data, input it into our state-of-the-art service reporting form. This is a highly complicated form, often used by NASA employees. Yeah, okay. So don't be too ashamed if you can't figure it out at first. You have the privilege of using such a form. Oh. Keep campers out of unregistered campgrounds. The campers might start a campfire which could lead to a wildfire. They will not always listen to authority, so take precaution when escorting them. Make sure to know whether the person is a threat. If you're worried about your safety, do not hesitate to dial 911. Keep maintenance of the park. Make sure the park is kept clean. We have a status to uphold. Now that you know most of the duties that a fire lookout has, you're ready to start. Mostly. We hope that you have a great season out there on the tower. Try not to damage any of the equipment. And remember, if you see smoke, don't joke. Call the authorities and notify them of the predicament immediately. He says no games, he's playing a game. <laughs> oh, what the f Oh, sh
Ooh. Got zombie. Oh, sh Oh, my God. 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 I count six shots. Busting out the band, though. Legit, but it can't oh. All right, that's enough of that. That was pretty cool. So it's like 10 degrees, some shit. Wind speed and knots, okay. Check the wind speed. So let's log that in. Let's log that in. Okay. 10. 20. It's a little uh, wind. Hikers assisted. Zero. Buddha. What's this nigga's name? My name. Like, nigga, that is not his name. His name is Jack. Clear. All right. You copy, new guy? Right here. I think I'm going to sign off for the day. Tower 12, signing off. You have a good night, new guy. My name's Jack, bro. I don't want the bed bugs bite. Good night, Connor. Talk to you tomorrow. All right. We made our report. Everything's secure. Um, let's go to bed. All right. We had a pretty smooth first day. 3.26 a.m. Oh, sh**. So it begins. Uh oh. Uneligible. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Connor. Connor. Connor, what's going on? What's going on, brother? I had to pee. Where are we gonna go pee? Gotta pee outside. Gotta pee outside. Flash. My first night being out of my cabin gave me a strange feeling. Okay, I can't. Are we peeing off the tower. <laughs> ah, taking a nice. Ooh, we can aim the leak. Aim that. Shit. Bababooey, bababooey, bababooey. Nigga had to drain the main vein. Where I maintain. What's up with Connor, man? He got got. Cause like he ain't make it. All right, what's the move now? Go back to sleep. Night two. Okay, cool in. The job is going smoothly. Let's take a sip. How did you just sip? You drinking it through the bottom, bro? Beautiful morning. Birds flying. Yeah, that's right. Take a photo. Beautiful. Nice. Nice. Yep, yep. Sip the last little bit. Yep, yep. Let's take another photo of the beautiful the tower over there. Taking photos, sip and drink. Let's go. Oh, what the f New guy, do you copy? Yeah, what happened to you, bro? Tower 12. Do you copy? You know, give me a second. Give me a second, brother man. Not the other man. Tanner. Tower 11. Do you copy? What's up, bro? Son of a bitch. Excuse me? Nobody bothers to get a camping permit these days anymore. Do you have eyes on the smoke north of your position? Let me look. Let's check and see who ain't supposed to be at the camp. My hands are full. Let's throw that shit the f down. Oh, that was rude. Let's put it in the sink. 
Sink. I said sink. Okay, close enough. Uh. You. Hard, hard. Oh, they got that smoke. Yeah, I seen it, bro. Yeah, I see it. You spot that white smoke up north? Yeah, I see it. It appears to be in the lazy trail sector, which is not a registered campsite. For sure. People like that don't bother to clean up after themselves. Okay. Fire risks are high this season. Am I checking it out? Yeah, you got any other detail? No additional information at the moment. Just follow lazy trail. Keep an eye out for any signs of a campfire or any potential hazards along the way. Alright, I'm heading north. I'll report back on Stay it. Stay safe out there. I'm gonna try. Bear spray? Does that work for the bears? Cause that's a bear. Let me get that spray. Oh that shit down. All right, let's go check it out. The trail was wrong, and I was gone. Okay, lazy trail right here. Oh, there goes the bear sign. See some mother yogi bears. 837. Damn, bro, I ain't bring my flashlight. Oh my god. Fell the tree that led me to the smoke. Hello. Oh my god. I got mad text. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, you send the pictures. Okay, you don't have good service, so he just getting those. Who whistling like that? Who whistling like that? Hello? Who's there? Show yourself. Uh, now what? Do we leave? Stop spraying that damn thing. We out of here. I feel like they put my camp. Oh, okay. Put the campfire out. You should have said that, bro. Niggas got killed. They got got. Okay. Okay, put water in it. Okay. Water. Water. Let's go. Please, no bears or people or monsters or whatever was in there whistling. Somebody, I hear somebody on the left side of my ear. As I hiked back to my tower through the dark, I couldn't shake the sense that something was terribly wrong. My mind couldn't help but think what might have happened. Run back. Run back. This is a job I would never take. I don't care how much they're paying. They ain't paying that good enough to do all this. Somebody probably in my tower. And I'm dead. Ooh. About the vacant caps. All right, let's report. Let's report. 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 Connor, do you copy? Do you copy? Connor. Loud and clear, new guy. I was just cooking myself some hot. Well, first, what's your status? Are you kidding me? Nope. Son of a bitch. They never learn, do they? What do you mean? I'm sick of these bastards. It's unbelievable. Has this been happening a lot? This is the third time this month alone. Anything else you notice in those woods? Mention scream. A scream. Must have been one of those red foxes. 
music. They sound pretty much like a screaming lady at night. Oh my god! Oh my god! It was a manly scream. I don't know what you're talking about, new guy, but I heard from the rangers that a lot of campers have been flocking to that area lately because of the disappearance of those three kids. Kids went missing in that area? About a month ago. They were hiking with their families. They went off the trail and just vanished. No trace of them since. What does that have to do with the campers? What happened to those kids? Well, people have started spreading rumors that the area might be haunted by some entities. It's crazy, I know. You would think these rumors would scare people off, but apparently it's been the opposite. Yep, because they want to see what's going on in their own day. Sometimes, I only wish they were true. Why? What, are you crazy? Well, at least now you know why Mitch had to staff Tower 11 urgently. That's unsettling. No. Right. Anyways, thanks for staying vigilant. They both said no, so what was the point? The authorities so they can take care of this commotion first thing in the morning. We can't tolerate these goons anymore. If they find them, I'll personally make sure they never set foot in this forest again. Yeah, keep me updated. Will do. Over and out. Over and out. I was too hungry to go to bed without food. Okay, so what are we cooking up? Uh, uh, down. Hell, Looking at that photo makes my stomach uh, growl. Matter of fact, we ain't got no service. Okay. I'm so jelly of that view. By the way, look what I got home to. Okay, so I make, do I make the cast roll? I'm cooked pasta. Marinara sauce. Marinara, marinara. Okay, here we go. Marinara sauce. This shit does not look great. <laughs> Pepperoni, mozzarella cheese, and diced tomato tomatoes. What's this? Pepperoni, it was diced tomatoes. Mozzarella. I'm making a mess. Pepperoni. There's the only thing I need. There we go. Pepperoni. Alright. See if this pasta comes out the way it's supposed to. The way I'm supposed to. New guy. You there? Nigga, I'm trying to eat. New guy. You copy? Nigga, bro. What, man? What is it? Uh, just reported their ass to the authorities. What'd they say? Don't worry. The Forest Service Agency will take care of it first thing in the morning. That's relieving. Hope they can track them down and give them a piece of their mind. Eh. We'll keep an eye on things from here. You stay vigilant for such smoke moving forward. That's the duty I chose. Speaking of duty, I don't see your name here. Did you report for the night yet? Let's get into it. Yeah, you got it. Show you what. I think I'm gonna hit the sack now. Stop hitting sacks. Hey, yo! <laughs> it's been a tough day, but you're doing an excellent job up there. Uh, my pleasure. Over 12, signing off. Over and out. Good night. Oh. Kinda cloudy out here. 18. There we go. I don't know why I said 15, I'm stupid. Food's done. Just remember the smell of the fresh sizzling cheese. I liked eating in bed. You gonna eat this whole thing in the bed? You're you're a fat one. Okay. I hear whistling. I hear whistling. I hear the whistling. I don't know if y'all can hear it, I can faintly hear it. She was about to eat a whole casserole. Call it fake lasagna, whatever you eat. I was already full. I was getting cold, thought the wood stove lit. Okay. Gotta go get the wood, bro. And there's the nigga downstairs. I hear him whistling. Whistling. I might have to go get wood. I don't like that. I don't like that. Mm. He 
sounds close. Go, go, go! No, no, no. No, no, no. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. Close the boards outside. Didn't you do that on your own before? <laughs> oh my God. I don't want to do that. Fuck. Close the shit. Oh my God. Is that it? No, that is not. Ooh. 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 I was walking by some feeling that caused my eyes to drift open. You hear whistling, bro. What the f what the f is that? Ooh! We're not opening that door. We're not opening that door. We're not opening that door. Open it. Huh? Oh! oh! Hide. Boop, 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 boop. Hello. What the f I didn't know what to make of it at the moment. The only logical thing I think of was to contract co contact Connor. Contract. Stop saying stupid words when you're scared. Connor, do you copy? Do you copy? Hello? Do you have any idea what time it is? There's something outside my door. Just couldn't wait until morning. Tell you what, new guy. It's probably best to ignore these kids messing around. I suspect that's what Marley got tired of. What if this is not a prank? like some real ritual. Let's not get carried away, new guy. We're in the middle of nowhere. All right, here's what we'll do. I'll send someone to check in on you tomorrow. Okay. For now, just lock your door, take a deep breath, and try to get some rest. We can't do much in the dark. All right. It'll be morning before you know it. Okay. Try to get some sleep, Jack. Mm, good night, bro. You know, help.
Connor didn't make any sense. He does. He doesn't. He's like, what are you talking about? Get off the. There's not much else I could have done. I've done in the dark. Night three. Next day I woke up, not being so sure if last night was real or just a dream. It was real. Connor tried to reason it was a harmless prank by some kids. But there's something about that night that just felt darker. There's something strange happening in those woods. Oh, man. Oh, man. I occupy most of my days with simple maintenance around, around the tower. By scanning densities of all the trees around me. My paranoia for these woods grew after last night, which led me to be extra vigilant moving forward. Shit all dirty. What the? It's a flare. Somebody dropped the flare. Where? It's a flare right there. Is that Connor or somebody else? Hello? Can anyone hear me? This is Jack Tower 11. Oh, thank goodness. Uh, I'm lost and I'm I'm really starting to freak out. What's going on? I I don't even know where to start. I, I went out to explore the area and lost track of time. A and now it's dark and I can't remember the trail back to my truck. I think I think I'm lost. Can you describe your clothing? What is your current location? What direction are you facing right now? I'm walking towards west right now, because I remember walking east when I came here. Oh, thank goodness. I see it. See what? I'm at a trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail or the left to get back to the trailhead. Can you help me? Hold on. I don't know, bro. I'm at a trail intersection now, Take the left one. I knew it! I thought I looked familiar. I couldn't have trusted myself with this decision. <laughs> Thanks for helping me through this. I'm right here! What do you mean? I hear you. I hear your whistles. That's not me. What? what? I see you behind the trees to my right. That's not me. You're freaking me out. Nope, 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 nope. Nope. Nope, nope. You're gonna keep knocking. Okay. Oh my god, holy moly, what took you so long in there? Nigga, I thought somebody was gonna kill me. I've been knocking for hours. I was asked to check in on you. What were you up to, pal? You've been knocking for hours. You've been out here for fing 10 seconds. Got me some tower supplies. Here you go. I feel like I'm going to pass out if I keep holding this one for more, one more second. Yeah, you wildin', bro. What were you doing there last night? What do you mean? Up north. Why were you there? I wouldn't screw around out there, pal. I was required to investigate on a campfire smoke. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Nasty business up there, pal. Bobcats and bears. You be careful out there, pal. These woods aren't normal, and there's stuff out there that would love to get a piece of you. Not to mention you'd be quite the distance from help if anything happened. I got enough to keep me occupied here. Absolutely, it's a busy job. I've been hearing you've been a bit on the edge. Everything alright? Mention the skull. Oh lord, have mercy. Did you take a photo of it before cleaning it up? I didn't think about it. You know it's best we don't dwell on these things, pal. Besides, we can't do anything without the evidence. Anyways, it's getting late. I better keep going now. Just keeping watch. Thanks for the supplies. Help me, bro. Help me, bro. 
Bro, please help me. I was too hungry. All right, man. Fine. Oh, what are we making? Burr. Eat the rest of this damn thing. The food was cold. Okay. Gotta heat it up. Eat it up. Close that. I didn't know we had to heat it up. Had that early jump scare on niggas. I wasn't supposed to open the door. He was like, huh? Alright. I liked eating in bed because you dirty nigga. Alright. I was done with it. Done with it all. Gotta make your report. Okay. We gotta get the wood again, bro. Huh? Yeah. Stressing me out. Stressing me out. Stressing me out. Oh, you stressing me out. Stressing me out doing this job. If you step any harder, the entire forest might hear you, bro. Mm. Ah! I'd be, I screamed again. You just gave me a heart attack. I understand loneliness can make you mind play tricks on you. Who the fuck? What are you doing here? I don't need to be alarmed. I'm a worker. I was just doing some routine maintenance on the radio tower over here. Yeah, do you usually work this late? Every Sunday, just trying to keep the communication lines open. We must ensure that the right message re reach the right places. Wouldn't you agree? Right, we rely on information about fire settings. Absolutely, but some fires are meant to burn, and no amount of prevention can stop them. What do you mean? Nature has its own plans. Some things can't be controlled, no matter how hard we try. And sometimes, disasters are just another form of cleansing, a way of the land to purify itself. Um, I should head back to the tower now. Have a good night, Jack. Hope you sleep well. But remember, curiosity can lead to places you'd rather not go. Farewell, Jack. Get the fuck on, bro. Scared the piss out of me. This guy gave me the creepiest vibes. Yeah, because what pathway is this you're taking? What are you what are you doing? You just you're just off into the distance, huh? Just gone forever. Okay. I would follow you, because he said curiosity, but I'm not that curious, so you can have that, sir. I see the smoke coming out of your tower. Don't tell me you're not in there. New guy. You there? What are you talking about, bro? You be on me for what reason? You got me now. This is Jack. <sighs> Finally. I've been trying to reach you for a while now. Where have you been? Ran into Silas downstairs. Ran into who? The guy maintaining the nearby radio tower. <sighs> is this about yesterday? What do you mean? You trying to yank my chain now? What do you mean? That radio tower's been out of service for ages now. It was closed down years ago after a lightning strike. Soon, according to Mitch. Then who did I just talk to? Look, if what you're saying is true, it could be another one of those goons playing pranks on you. He knew my name. Knew your name? You think he's been listening? Possibly. Either way, disguising as a staff member is strictly forbidden according to park guidelines. That's forbidden for any profession, bro. Like, it's not special. Next time you see him, get his information or take a photo. We need to figure this out. Sure. Anyways, I'm seeing that you've already reported. I think I'm gonna hit the sack now. Next time now I see him, it might not be good. Signing off. Over good night. And Over and out, bro. Next time I see this nigga, it might not be that. My knees were starting to grow with each passing day. So when I signed off that night, I told myself it was just a change of environment that I needed to get used to. The strangeness that I'd seen so far in those woods was not enough to cause any alarm yet. However, that would soon change. Two nights later. Oh my god. Oh my god. It is time. You got a minute? 
I'm listening, bro. Well, good news. Just heard from the HQ. They say we've got a new system update on the computer. Okay. They just wanted me to let you know. They say it's an important security update. Okay. No more snoopers, I guess. How do I update the computer? Well, to be honest with you, all this new technology is not really my thing. Dare I say it, these computers are probably going to take all our jobs one day. Maybe. Anyway, for now, use the console to run the new system update. I'm sure a young man like you can figure it out. Thanks for letting me know. Let's run the update. Uh, console. Oh. Um... Checks for available system update. C H K. Oop, that's not a K. U P D. Okay, there's one. Okay, it's up to date. What? Power was out. Oh my God! Please, for the love of God! Why does the power have to be out, bro? I don't like this. Don't like this. Don't want to turn the power on. I do not want to turn the power. There is a man. He is... He is... Perpetrating us as a maintenance character. He is neither a maintenance man or someone to be trusted. Turn it on. It ran out of gas because of course it f***ing did. Oh, sh oh, sh I closed my eyes on that one. I don't give, I don't give a damn. I closed my eyes. I closed my eyes and they closed. <laughs> okay. 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 Ooh. Oh, well, let me bring it. I really had to pee before going back up. Why the f you gotta pee now? <laughs> oh my god. They're gonna scare me again. Oh, I can hide in here. That's gonna come into play later. Come on, bro. You got the dirtiest piss. You need to drink more water. So that's the door. Oh, that was a see-through door. Damn near. <laughs> One week later. Oh my God! This man been there for a hot minute. Time was flying by. Connor's generator was under maintenance, which meant I had to cover his area for the past two days. There was no fires going. The only thing I'd check is, is on Connor twice a day. That might have been the only time I ever talked, unless I was talking to myself. Be back at it again. We got another one. I know it's late, but you're gonna want to see this one, Jack. Maybe I'm not. Jack. What? Jack. What up, bro? Damn. Why is my microwave still open? What's up, bro? Jack, do you copy? Yes. Okay, tell you what. I don't have the energy to do this right now. What happened? I've been here busting my ass, working on that old piece of garbage generator. Okay. And now I'm seeing this. I'm seeing more smoke to my west. Looks like we got another camper. Okay. Let me have a look. Let me have a look. Grab the light. You know what? I don't have it in me to deal with this crap tonight. I'm gonna let you deal with this one. If they don't run away this time, take their photos and IDs. If things get worse, don't hesitate to call HQ for help. I'll take me tomorrow morning. I'm gonna get some rest. Bullsh oh no. <gasps> it's 
It's the clan. I didn't know what to make of it. Only thing that made sense at the time was to take evidence of it. Okay, we'll take a photo. Alright, got you on candy camera now. Oh! Oh, I'm going to the outhouse. They won't let me. They won't let me. Still got me. Faster, bro. Like, what am I supposed to be doing? Huh? Go, 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 go. You better, you better move your ass. Move your ass. You need to go. You need to hurry up. Hurry up, nigga. Hurry up, nigga. Baby. Oh my god. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go baby, they're not gonna catch us, they're gonna have to catch up, you got it, <clears throat> ooh, it's locked, okay, f*** them. I hate how y'all show me he's behind me, bro. Let's go! As adrenaline kicked in, I hit the gas and drove to the nearest cat ranger cabin. 
out of out of breath, I radioed in to alert the HQ. Look, Jack, we all get a little stir crazy out there, Mitch answered. Bro, I just told you what the freak happened to me. And you still talk about people go crazy. Next morning, authorities allegedly ran a small investigation of the area, but of course they met with no signs of misconduct. No one ever believed my story, dismissing it as a product of isolation. Just stick to looking out for fires, Mitch offered. However, there was one the last time I ever set foot in those woods. I wouldn't either. Come on. The unease still sits heavy in my stomach. Even though many years have passed, the experience still feels vivid in my memory. My family thought I was making this whole thing up, which is really out of my character. But I know what I saw. Real or not, after dark, these woods can become a haven for illegal activities. So if any of you plan on going to camping soon, on going camping soon, please be safe. Clap it up, man. Uh, yeah, yeah, clap it up, uh, 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 clap it up, uh, 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 clap it up, uh, yeah, Northwood, uh, 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 Northwood, uh, uh, Jack Decepticon, shout out to you, you was in the game, man, what is to do, what you do, 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 that was Fierce, Fierce to Fathom, Iron Bark, Lookout, um, that was a good one as you noticed i don't know if you can tell it took me quite a few tries to get that last part down pack it was pretty difficult because you know this little window i didn't know you had to make sure he got all the way to the other side before he decided to run because he runs like a damn cheetah but um yeah that was fierce to fathom iron bark look out like share subscribe to the bell for more appreciate y'all i'm out of here can not check the temperature yeah i'm too hot and you know you're not yeah. enemies i ain't got none, none. I'm the go and you not one. No. Drop a disc when I'm not around. Uh. Pennywise, you a fucking clown. Yeah. In the crib and I'm out the mix. Yeah. They treating me like I'm Malcolm.